the civilization keeps advancing by our continuous exploration and creation. Crossing the vast sea. Getting sought to accurately identify the time and orientation. The Big Dipper, comprising seven bright thick stars in the sky, once lit our way ahead as a beacon. And Chinese call it Beidou. Today, Beidou nab. satellite system is exactly such a beacon that continuously changes our life and breaks through our imagination. It empowers our life in all aspects, from precise time and space, to the internet of everything and smart society. BDS brings us on the way to a better life and keeps us closer together. It helps us surf the world.
We have only one Earth that cannot be recreated. The homeland where we live together is facing unprecedented challenges, among which climate change is one of the biggest. The most depressing issue now is to coordinate the global response to climate change. In combating climate change, China has vowed to peak carbon dioxide emissions by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2060, with more detailed measures in the pipeline. The strength of this commitment stems from China's solid actions to deal with climate change, as well as its sincere desire to make planet Earth a better place together with other countries, helping other developing countries cope with climate change, signing the Paris Agreement and depositing its ratification of the agreement with the UN, actively promoting climate cooperation on multilateral occasions, deeming green development as an important part of the Belt and Road Initiative, while striving for green and low carbon development at home. China has also promoted international cooperation in mitigating climate change. In 2019, China's carbon emission intensity decreased by 48.1% compared with 2005, making it the country with the largest contribution to emission reduction in the world. In the past 10 years, China has ranked first in the world in increasing forest resources, with its afforestation area exceeding 70 million hectares. China contributed to a quarter of the increase in global green leaf area from 2000 to 2017. China's investment in renewable energy has exceeded 100 billion US dollars for five consecutive years, and its new energy vehicle stock is more than half the world's total. I think uh, China um, is now on the right path, has committed uh, to the Paris uh, Protocol, has also uh, wants to decouple growth economic from growth in CO2, wants then to stabilize CO2 emissions and then start uh, to reduce. They're moving very clearly with nuclear energy, trying to find alternative energy sources, uh, has been, uh, I think, a, a very uh, encouraging uh, uh, development for the rest of the world as well. And I think China will help them in developing these sources of energy in order to deal with these, the, this crisis. Well, I think we are all confronted with the same questions. Uh, um, climate change. So uh, this is typically the kind of fight that needs to be uh, met at international level through international cooperation, through important measures taken uh, at uh, these levels. Um, and uh, the fact that uh, uh, China mentions that you need to build a community with a shared future for mankind is typically that. Uh, we are all on the same boat uh, and we need to avoid that the boat goes down under the sea. Uh, we need to float. We need to arrive to destination. As the largest developing country, China has a unique position in global climate governance due to its size of population and economy and stage of development. China's efforts in energy conservation, emission reduction and proactive response to climate change are its biggest contribution to global climate governance. The Earth is the common home to all humanity. China will work with other countries to take more concrete and effective actions to protect our blue planet.
Live in body. In order to build a smart society, we have been exploring how to make cities evolve that puts people first and takes the city is a huge living body. In order to build a smart society, we have been exploring how to make cities evolve that puts people first and takes both urban governance and urban growth into consideration. The arrival of new technologies such as 5G and the Internet of Things allows us to examine the relationship from a new perspective. The relationship between the people and cities began to create new urban forms. A smart city is a smart management system that can perceive and think independently. Through the analysis and processing of huge and complex city operation data, the city will be able to proactively discover various anomalies in the city and jointly manage our homes. A smart city is also a smart platform that connects massive city services. People can quickly access various city services anytime, anywhere, through portable mobile entrances. We can interact with the entire city and enjoy a convenient life. A smart city can digitalize urban resources and elements through continuous technological innovation and inject new vitality into the sustainable development of traditional industries. A smart city on a digital base created by new technologies with efficient governance and warm services connect you and me and promote its own process. Together with our city, let's embrace a smarter and brighter future.
does technology help humans in every aspect of medical treatment? You only need to describe your symptoms to the AI assistant. And the AI intelligent diagnosis system will use natural language processing and in-depth analysis to identify keywords, to understand the patient's medical needs, and then optimize the match the outpatient resources of the hospital to help patients register intelligently. Coming to the doctor's desk, the AI assistant will analyze the patient's symptoms based on the medical knowledge map that has been constructed, combined with data such as medical imaging, analysis and inspection indicators, and give preliminary diagnosis results and treatment recommendations. The doctor will finally form a diagnosis.欢迎来到迪拜世博会中国馆语言是开启一个国家文化的钥匙今天让我们通过学习中文来了解东方文化之美你好下面开始学习请看卡片您将听到三遍卡片里的中文发音迪拜很漂亮迪拜很漂亮